Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarling here bringing you a new Neverwinter video. And today again is one of those days that I don't really want to make a video about this, but I'm, um, you know, kind of have to. So we have to talk about it. Uh, unfortunately, all the rumors that were circulating around um, have obviously become true. If you guys haven't heard yet, uh, Cryptic Studios is going to be suffering some layoffs, as the title suggests. So, back on uh, October 20th, if you didn't watch this video, uh, we talked about it. Cryptic Studios, uh, possible layoffs. Um, people were reporting on LinkedIn for new jobs. So, we had a discussion about it. Longtime community member Sir Monty posted articles, I believe yesterday, November 3rd, as of filming this video today is November 4th of 2023. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump into it. I'll read you guys the article. Multiple outlets are reporting it. Uh, MMORPG, as well as Massively OP. So... Let's just hear it. I mean, you can hear it in my voice how melancholy I am, you know? I mean, this sucks. I, I don't want to see people lose their jobs. No matter how hard of a time I've given Cryptic Studios over the years, I don't want to see people lose their jobs just because they've been, their company's been eaten up by a multi-billion dollar corporation. And since that multi-billion dollar corporation is losing money, well, people lose their jobs. It's, you know, the way the world works, unfortunately. Uh, and it's just business, baby. But at the end of the day, it does suck. And, I, you know, I feel bad for the people that are going to be affected by this. Uh, and it's only going to continually get worse. So, I'm just going to literally read you guys the article here. Cryptic confirms layoffs claiming Star Trek Online and Neverwinter aren't affected. <clears throat> I wish I could say nobody could have seen this coming, but in fact, everyone did. Like I said, I made a video about it a few weeks ago. A few, few, a few weeks ago, we learned that key cryptic staffers at Star Trek Online and Neverwinter were engaging in what looked like a coordinated job hunts with at least four devs posting to LinkedIn searching for new industry jobs, including the game's top community li li liaison, Mike, Ambassador Kell, Fathom. But apparently, it wasn't layoffs. Fathom tweeted, and we talked about uh, in my previous video, he hadn't been laid off, and that none of the cryptic teams had changed at the time. So, I just want to pause for a minute and discuss this line here. Uh, Ambassador Kell, a.k.a. Mike Fathom, was moved into the, the position of community manager for all of Cryptic Games. Now, I don't want to necessarily call the man a liar, uh, but there was obviously speculation and people at the company possibly already knew they were being laid off. They were probably told or they had some indication so they made job postings or they were updating their LinkedIn profiles. They were looking for new jobs because, I mean, it's their livelihood. You, you have to have an income, uh, especially living out west where the cost of living is so high. It costs, you know, a lot of money to live where these people live. So for Ambassador Kell just to publicly state that, you know, none of the teams at Cryptic had changed at that time might have visually been truthful because at the time those articles were posted no one was technically laid off yet but i think that those people knew that, that it was coming so it was basically damage control at that point i mean he's the community manager it's his job to like keep the peace essentially so it is what it is we were left to assume the teams had learned something dire about the fate of the company, which would have made a lot of sense under the circumstances. Cryptic and Perfect World Entertainment, 
was sold to Embracers Group. Uh, Gearbox Entertainment in 2021 made videos about it. We're all aware of it. And its games have been stalwarts of Gearbox back catalog ever since. But this year, um, Embracers business dealings have been a train wreck. And its stock has dipped. Which basically means, you know, they're losing money. The gaming industry is losing money. Everybody's affected by it. Um, so Embracer is losing money overall. Following the collapse of a $2 billion business deal with Saudi Arabia's Savvy Games. So again, we, we talked about this back in June uh, of last year or this year, whatever year it was. I don't even remember. Was it this year or last year? Um, Embracer had a deal with Savvy Games, but the deal fell through. It was a $2 billion deal. So, they're, they're losing a lot of money. By June, the company was engaged in a major reconstructive with mass layoffs and studio closures. Again, we talked about this all in the previous video. Embracer shut down numerous of its studios. We were wondering if Cryptic Studios was going to be on that list of shutdowns. We also learned in September that Embracer was considering options to explore a sell of Gearbox Entertainment and therefore Cryptic. So Cryptic does fall under Gearbox Entertainment. Uh, Embracer was thinking about selling Gearbox Entertainment. Um, I guess that deal may have fallen through as well or it's still for sale i know they had some prospective buyers uh and i don't know if that is going to be the case where they do sell gearbox entertainment but we'll talk about that in a little bit as of this morning uh, again this was november 3rd today is november 4th i wanted to get this video out quickly we've learned that multiple people from cryptic teams have indeed been laid off including artists Ian Richards, Joe Jing, Bill Yeats, and as well as QA Christopher Andre. And yes, some of these were lead principal roles, and at least one was still working on Star Trek Online. Now here's one that was interesting. Narrative director Winner Molinex, aka Winners, uh, if you're a hardcore Neverwinter person, you know who Winners is. Uh, Winners was actually uh, the community manager for Neverwinter at one time. Uh, she took over after Julia moved roles. Uh, so she wasn't the community manager very long, but she was the community manager for Neverwinter for a brief period of time uh, once Julia Fredrickson moved to a different role. She was also let go. Winners is uh, no longer part of Cryptic Studios. Suggesting that the layoffs impacted in-production titles as well as the art team. Which likely means that whatever unannounced game Cryptic was working on has been canned. So Cryptic for a while has been teasing that they were working on a new game, a new title. Uh, unannounced, untitled, no one knew about it. Uh, it was all secretive. They were working on a new game. Um, it's not confirmed, but it most likely has been canceled at this point in time. At least put on pause for the matter of speaking. Uh, winners refers to the layoffs as a reduction in workforce. So she went to Twitter, a.k.a. X. Uh, Today marks the end of my tenure as narrative director for Cryptic Studios due to a reduction in workforce, a.k.a. laid off. I will always look back at these times with a profound sense of gratitude. If you are in need of a narrative director, a principal narrative designer, or someone to lead your writers, let's talk. If you are looking to connect with anyone else who was impacted by the reduction in workforce, I'm happy to introduce you as well. So yeah, not good guys, not good. Players have also asked on Twitter, aka X, 
for an official statement from Ambassador Kell. Ambassador Kell applied to one saying, and I quote, It's a difficult time for Cryptic right now. I want you to know that our free-to-play games are not affected by these recent changes. We are always thankful for how you rally around us, and we are still here for you. Now again, Ambassador Kell is currently the community manager for all of Cryptic Games. Right now, his, his, his job is damage control. So for him to come out and say this, again, uh, you have to take it with a grain of salt. This is business lingo. There are clearly problems. This is a dire emergency. More people are most likely going to lose their jobs. What does that mean for the company itself? Are they going to eventually close down the game? I don't know. I don't think they will, but it's always a possibility. But for him to come out and say this, um, again, you have to take it with a very grain of salt and look at the bigger picture here. Again, I'm not calling the man a liar, but remember, he did state um, earlier, uh, a couple weeks ago, that, you know, things are fine, people aren't currently laid off, uh, and then two weeks later, people were getting laid off. So, again, I'm not calling the man a liar, he's just doing his job. Of course, it's hard to see how losing art staff won't have an impact, particularly given the monetization style of cryptic titles. So, basically, they lost a lot of their art team. These people that got laid off were um, mostly part of the art team. So, how are you going to make future content when, you know, you just laid off a good part of the art team? Um, Mod 27 is literally coming out next week. November 7th, uh, and maybe Mod 28 is definitely in the picture, because you have to keep in mind, all of these modules were worked on way in advance, so however much content they had done is probably what's going to get released. As far as the future goes, I don't know, are they going to hire new artists, um, Again, that's hard to say. It's just, it's very dark times right now because we don't know what the future is actually going to hold. Uh, like I said, all of the work that was done is always done in advance. They might have Mod 28 completely done. Uh, like I said, Mod 27 will be coming out next week. Uh, Mod 28 probably won't be coming out until January, February of next year, assuming it is a complete product and ready for launch. So they do have some time to hire more artists, uh, if need be. Uh, but, I mean, when you're laying off people, I don't see you hiring people. So, again, I don't know what the future is going to hold. Um, and it is what it is. I just want everyone to be aware of the status of the game. Uh... And what's going on right now? Our sympathies go out to everyone affected, those laid off, those mourning co-workers and concerned players too. Once again, all the wrong people continue to pay for the colossal blunders of mega corporations. And again, that's, pro that's the major problem here. That's just the way business works. You know, it sucks, but it, it's the matter. It's just the truth. Unfortunately... Cryptic Studios put itself in a position that it was underperforming so much that it got its company sold to one of these mega corporations like Embracer. Embracer owns, you know, a vast amount of companies. Embracer has 100,000 employees. Cryptic Studios itself barely had 200 employees. So when that major corporation is suffering... 
it's the little guys that are going to get screwed the most. Now, here's the interesting part that this article was updated, uh, and we have to talk about this as well. Cryptic has continued to decline answers to our questions, uh, specifically speaking for Massively OP. I'm sure they reached out to Cryptic, which is deeply out of character for the studio. I mean, they had a good relations, uh, their public relations um, with Massively OP as well as other um, articles and things, other companies, MMORPG, uh, has always been good. Uh, but it did give a statement to uh, GI Biz saying that as part of the Embracer Group's comprehensive reconstru uh, reconstructuring program, Cryptic Studios will now operate under DECA Games. It says that DECA Games is a Berlin-based branch of Embracer that focuses on acquiring and operating older free-to-play games as a service. So, this is actually major news. Um, Cryptic Studios will no longer be a subsidiary of Gearbox Entertainment. They're actually going to be moving under DECA Games. Uh, and, and again, DECA Games is basically a Berlin company that handles older titles, older specific free-to-play titles. So, what is that going to mean now? Um, Cryptic is a 10-year-old game. It's, you know, or not Cryptic, but Neverwinter, Neverwinter is a 10-year-old game itself. STO is also an older game. Uh, and they're both free-to-play games. Uh, DECA Games basically handles those old free-to-play titles. Is Neverwinter done? Is, is, is Neverwinter going to be complete? Are we never going to get another module update? That is a possibility. DECA Games will continue to maintain Neverwinter and Star Trek Online, but as far as major module updates go, are we going to see very... Um, any more updates. Uh, and if we do see updates, they're going to be very spread apart, if that. Uh, and that's unfortunate. Uh, Neverwinter, in my opinion, is still going strong. Um, the player base has dwindled a ton over the years, but there is still a player base there. I can't speak for Star Trek Online. I don't play Star Trek Online. I don't know what the player base looks like or the numbers look like. So this is, this is actually major news. Now, there's a lot of legal stuff behind all this that they're going to have to do uh, when you're moving a subsidiary uh, around, basically, ownership. Uh, there, there's a lot of legal logistics. Uh, keep in mind that uh, Papa Hasbro still controls uh, pretty much a anything regarding Neverwinter. Uh, the Dungeons & Dragons IP is still owned by Wizards of the Coast and a.k.a. Papa Hasbro. So when, you're, when you have a company wanting to move one of its other companies under a new subsidiary. There's a lot of legal stuff that has to go through that uh, and behind closed doors, and there's a lot of logistics behind that. It's simply not, you know, just, oh, hey, we're moving this subsidiary to another subsidiary. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that's going to have to go behind this. The studio acknowledged difficult personnel changes and said Cryptic remains dedicated support supporting its cornerstone free-to-play games and the communities behind them again just the damage control line uh they're basically saying yeah we're going to continue neverwinter blah 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 but we don't know that we don't know what's going to happen ultimately so mm, yeah and this also unfortunately now if uh this all goes through legally and the subsidiary does change, if Cryptic Studios is now under DECA Games, that means if Embracer Group actually does sell Gearbox Entertainment, that does not include Neverwinter anymore. That does not include Cryptic Studios. Because Cryptic Studios will no longer be under the Gearbox Entertainment uh, arch. It won't be a subsidiary of Gearbox Entertainment. 
So if Embracer Group is successful in selling Gearbox Entertainment, Neverwinter and Star Trek, aka Cryptic Studios, will not be affected any longer because now it's under a new subs subsidiary of Decca Games. So, again, that's that's major news right there. Uh, so if Crypt, uh, you know, if Embracer does sell Gearbox Entertainment and makes some revenue. Uh, Cryptic Studios still has a chance to survive. Neverwinter still has a chance to survive because now it's under DECA Games and DECA Games is going to have to be the ones in control of making future content, right? Uh, so now they're based in Berlin. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, you have a Berlin company, a German company. You have a German-based company that's going to have to manage... Cryptic Studios, who's in the United States. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know what's going to happen here, what's going to be the future path. So that's it, guys. I mean, I I don't know what to say. I mean, it sucks. Again, um, I don't want to see people lose their jobs. That, that really does suck. Uh, and I think it's going to get a little worse. Uh, I think more people may lose their positions as well. Um rebounding from this is going to be a difficult time. I mean, we've unfortunately, uh, you know, the economy has been a disaster for the past several years now. Um, I, I, hopefully it starts getting better over the next few years, but as it sits right now, everything is up in the air. Uh, like I said, as far as future content for Neverwinter goes, Mod 27 is definitely getting released next week. Mod 28 I would assume is probably a done product because they work on everything in advance. But after module 28, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Neverwinter might get sunsetted. Uh, there may never be a future update for Neverwinter again. Uh, that's a really shitty thing to say, but you have to look at the big picture. You have to see what's going on here. That's all I got for you folks today. Uh, Hopefully you didn't enjoy this video because it sucks. It's a bad video. Um, but it is what it is. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them below. I'll see you guys real soon.